Today's video will be a fragrance haul from the house of Siage. If you're interested, then just keep watching. get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about mainly fragrance, but also some beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, today we are going to be doing a House of Siage haul. And I know people get skeptical when they see House of Siage hauls because House of Siage does send out PR packages to content creators and I am one of them. However, in this particular video, I do have some PR that was sent to me from House of Siage, which I have not opened yet. And I do have fragrances that I purchased from House of Siage with my own coin, <laughs> which I also have not opened yet. So this is going to be a completely blind haul. And let me just tell you, the ones that I purchased, it got here right before I went out of town last week. And so I haven't opened them because I knew I wanted to do this video. So they have been sitting here and I have really been wanting to get into them. So I'm super excited to finally open these boxes. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we are going to start out with the PR package and I actually just got this in the mail literally, literally like 10 minutes ago. So I haven't opened the box. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the beautifully wrapped box that they send their PR in. And I think that if you get gift packaging on their website, it will also come similar to this. Um, and then they just sent me a little note talking about the fragrance or the inspiration for the fragrance. So here is the beautiful box all unwrapped. Sorry, it's white, so it's gonna throw my lighting off a bit. So they actually sent me a fragrance from their new collection that is the Batman collection. So they came out with two fragrances for the Batman collection. One is marketed towards women and it's in the traditional cupcake. That's what they sent me. And they also have one that's marketed towards men called Vengeance. I did not receive that one. And they also sent me the candle from the collection. And they also have a lipstick bow case, but I'm pretty sure they didn't send that to me. Um, so just FYI, if you guys are interested in the collection, it has four pieces to go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the fragrance first because that's what we're here for. Like I said, they also sent me the candle, so we'll get into that next. So this is what the box looks like for the fragrance. And I find that with their limited edition stuff, it's usually in a different box than the normal, um, than the normal packaging. So in here... We have the Batman. Now, I'm not a big fan of Batman, to be completely honest. Like, I kind of could care less about Batman. But when they offered to send me the fragrance, I was intrigued by the notes. So I was definitely ready to try it. So that's what the bottle looks like. And if you people are big Batman fans, it's actually really beautiful. It looks better in person than it did on the website. If you like the cupcakes, I know a lot of people don't. But if you like the cupcakes, I actually think this looks better in person than it did on the website. So it does have all these Swarovski crystals. And I know a lot of you all don't care about packaging, but I feel like if you're watching this video and you know about House of Siage, you know part of it is the packaging. So we're just gonna be frank here. But anyway, it comes with this card in here too. I guess it's like an authenticity card or something. Yeah, I guess. So let's find a tester so we can spray this fragrance. Okay, that smells really good. It reminds me of something. It smells like there may be some oud in here. It kind of reminds me of Passion de L'Amour from House of Siage. They're not the same, but at first sniff, it kind of reminds me of that. I believe there must be saffron in this. Y'all know, it. well, maybe you don't know. When I do these hauls and all, I look at notes like before I purchase stuff, but I try to just go off what I smell and give you my honest opinion. So you should be seeing the notes either on this side or this side. Um, so I don't always get the notes right because I'm not a uh, perfumer or anything like that. So I'm just going based off what I smell. So to me, this smells woody. It smells like there is some oud in here, which is wood. And then this also smells like there may be saffron in here, like a leathery tone to it, but it's also something sweet in here. Sweet and, I don't know, just almost boozy. I like this. I really like this. 
I like this a lot. I um, It does remind me of Passion de L'Amour, but that's a good thing because I really like Passion de L'Amour. But they're not the same. Definitely not the same. This is really nice. I think this would be great for like nighttime. I definitely think it's unisex, even though it's being marketed towards women. I definitely think a man could pull this off too. But in a way, it kind of reminds me of Initio side effect as well. I think it's a saffron note. It kind of has that same similar feel. They're not the same, guys. When I th say things remind me of, that's literally all I mean. They remind me of. It doesn't sound, I'm not saying they smell the same. But the saffron note in there kind of reminds me of the saffron that's in side effect. This is really beautiful. I like this. I can't wait to wear this on the skin because it smells really good on the paper. I'm not going to spray it on my skin today because I am trying out multiple fragrances, but I am excited. I'm excited to wear this out on a date or something. <laughs> so yeah, that's, this is a happy surprise, y'all. I did not have high hopes for Batman. I'm not going to lie. I was intrigued by the notes, but I wasn't completely sold by the notes. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So that is Batman from House of Siage. Next up, I have the candle. It comes in this box. I already took it out of the wrapper, but let's open it up. And I do have a House of Siage candle already that I really like. It's the Wonder Woman one. So I'm thinking this one will work well. Now, that's the packaging. Not really my aesthetic, but I will just turn this baby around <laughs> and burn it. Yeah, it smells good like the candle. This one definitely smells more woody, more leathery than the candle i mean than the fragrance so we'll see how it is when it burns i'm not going to burn it right now but i am happy to have this and i will have to update y'all in a future video on what i think of the candle but so far so good so again thank you to house of siage for sending those two items to me i am excited to play around with them everything else from here forward is going to be stuff that i purchased or like a free gift with purchase which i'll show you when we get to it all right so here is my box very big but y'all know house of siage is always running these sales and there have been a couple on my wish list forever that i've been wanting to try and since i've had good experience with the ones that they sent me and the one that i purchased myself from the brand I went ahead and pulled the trigger when I saw one go on sale for 50% off that I've been waiting for it to go on sale. And so, yeah, that, that explains this purchase. And so I was like, well, since I'm buying the one, I might as well buy the other one that I really want because it was on sale as well. And I got a free gift. So they did send me these two samples. Um, this is Wonder Woman, which I already own. And then the trend number eight, Retro Pop. I'm not gonna smell those right now, but I am appreciative of the samples. So this first one that I purchased is part of their signature line. So it comes in the regular white packaging. And this one I have been wanting since I even heard about House of Siage. Uh, so this one is Haute's Bijou. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. This is a really pretty gold bottle with the pink rhinestones. It's really pretty. I really like this one. So let's smell her. I'm a little nervous because, you know, I haven't smelled this before. There's nowhere near me that sells House of Siage that I know of. And so I can never smell their stuff in person. All right, so that top was a lot to get off. <laughs> I don't know why that one was so hard for me to get off. They are, they all are always kind of hard because they're like really big. So I always have to make sure I wipe my hands off because if I have lotion, I'm not getting the top off. But anyway, I got the top off now. So let's spray her up. Okay, I can smell the mango. I was concerned that I was not gonna be able to smell the mango in this, but I am happy to report I immediately smell the mango in this. I don't really remember what other notes are in it besides the mango, but the mango was the main reason that I wanted to try this fragrance. So as of right now, it smells like a very natural ripe mango. There's definitely some other citrus notes in there, maybe like grapefruit or could possibly even be like orange. It's like a sweet, a sweet and tangy citrus mixed, mixed in with the mango. I definitely smell something green in the background, almost like it could be the skin of a mango. Not like mango skin, the fragrance. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it smells like to me, like a very, a very ripe, sweet, juicy mango drink or something. 
This is really good. I am so happy. I'm so happy that I took the plunge on this because I was quite nervous because sometimes when people say mangoes and stuff, like I really want to smell that mango um, because I love the smell of mango. Yeah, this is really good. So just right off the bat, I have to tell y'all stuff it reminds me of. So right now it reminds me of Alien Eau Crocier 2019, the mango one. Um, not that they smell alike, this one is definitely sweeter, it's more fresh and realistic, but the zinginess in it reminds me of the zinginess from the grapefruit in Angel 2020 Eau Crocier or 2019 Eau Crocier. So right off hand, that's the only one it reminds me of, but it smells really good. It smells really natural and high quality, which I love. The mango is definitely, definitely the most present note to my nose. All right, I'm excited to wear. This is going to be perfect for summertime. I, I can already see already see it. I love this. So, all right, so that is Hope's Bijou, another winner so far anyway. We'll have to see how it wears and everything like that. And then the last fragrance I have, I did not expect to be in this big of a box, but it is the Disney Times House of Siage fragrance, the Mickey Mouse fragrance. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge Disney fan. I'm not against Disney, but I'm not like a Disney girl. Y'all know I do live in Florida though. So, I mean, I'm familiar with Disney. I've done Disney, all of that, but I'm not like the Disney crazy person. <laughs> Hopefully it's not offensive, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like I'm not a fanatic, a Disney fanatic. However, I do love the bottle on this. So let me open it to show y'all. Now this one, I will say when I first saw it came out, I think last year or maybe even in 2020, I was intrigued by the bottle, but I knew I wouldn't purchase it for the bottle because it's just too expensive to do that. And this one is a little bit more expensive than their regular line. However, I got it for 50% off. So I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there. But when I saw the notes of the fragrance and I hear people describe it, it is something, it is something that I feel like I would love and that would suit me well in the hot weather. So here we go. This is a really nice box. Mickey ears. And that is really pretty. It is really pretty in person too. I love it. Like I said, not the big, biggest Disney fan, but I do love how cute this bottle is. And I know some people probably think it's tacky. Some, but some people think all these cupcakes are tacky, but I'm not one of them. I love it. I think it's super cute. And I just have to make sure that Chloe doesn't get a hold of this because she would be all over it. But this is really pretty. It looks really well done. Lots of crystals everywhere. So let's spray her and hope she smells just as good. Y'all, this smells amazing. This smells amazing. I smell the coconut milk. I think it smells like coconut milk. Yeah, I was gonna say coconut water, but I think it smells like coconut milk, but it's very like creamy, coconutty. It's a little bit sweet. It's not a suntan type of coconut. This is definitely more on the creamy coconut side. I love this. Reminds me immediately of an island vacation. Like this smells amazing. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just picking out coconut milk definitely smells like there are some fruits in here but to me it's not fruit forward but i feel like the sweetness is coming from like some sort of fruit this smells very almost clean um not clean that not soapy clean but like just a very fresh pure coconut milk with some fruit that sounds simple but let me tell you <laughs> It's hard for people to get coconut right. I'm not gonna lie. I do have another coconut fragrance that I feel like I should compare this to. So right off the bat, it kind of reminds me of Coconut Fizz from Guerlain. They do not smell the same. Coconut Fizz smells like pure coconut water. This smells like creamy coconut milk, but they remind me of each other because the coconut smells so pure. Not at all synthetic, not at all sunscreen-like. Oh my gosh, this smells like I'm in Jamaica, drinking out. If y'all have ever been to Jamaica, you know, anytime you go on any type of excursion, all the places have the coconuts and you can drink out of them, drink the coconut uh, milk out of, right out of the coconut. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. That's what it immediately takes me to. Oh my gosh. 
This is so pretty. I'm so excited, y'all. This to me, I don't know if it lines up with the Mickey like theme like the smell of it smells way more sophisticated than what you expect like when you see this bottle i expect something like really fruity really fun really flirty this to me smells like a sophisticated coconut and i'm here for it i love this i am so happy y'all you know it's it's always a risk when you blind buy so sometimes you can have some fails and i hate to fail on expensive stuff but I'm so happy because the two that I purchased and the one they sent me all seem like winners. Like, how often does that happen? <laughs> now, I do have some free gifts here to share with y'all real quick. Um, they sent me this Mickey bag, which um, I'm probably going to give to one of my kids. And then they also sent me this tote bag, which I'll definitely use. I like to use these little reusable totes for stuff, um, especially when I'm traveling and things like that or just in my car so i'll definitely use that but then they also had this gift with purchase that if you spent over a certain amount um i think it's like over 300 dollars, which unfortunately i did um <laughs> if you spent over that amount you get this set of travel sprays I'm sorry my lighting is kind of blanking that out but you get this set of travel sprays of their entire signature collection. So this will allow me to try out all the fragrances that I have not tried yet from their signature line, which is probably the most popular line. So I'm excited to try this because there are still some that I've been wanting to smell from House of Siage. Plus, I'm getting travel sizes of ones that I already own that I can now take with me, like Benevolence, for instance. And this is a good size travel spray. I think these are like 7.5 mLs. Does it say it on here? No, they're 8 ml. So yeah, comes with Love is in the Air, Cherry Garden, Nuez Moi, which is one I want to try, Hope's Bijou, Chevaux d'Or, Passion de l'Amour, Holiday, Tierra, Benevolence, and Emerald Rain. So I'm super excited to try these. And like, I know House of Siage doesn't have the best rep here on YouTube, but Try fragrance for yourself, guys. <laughs> Try them for yourself. Just because somebody doesn't like one thing doesn't mean you won't like one thing. So uh, I'm happy to have tried these fragrances because so far I'm loving all three of them. And I'm excited to be able to play around with them more. And I think they're going to be perfect for summer. The two that I purchased, I think are going to be absolutely perfect for spring, summer. And the one they sent me, I feel like will be a nighttime fragrance year round. So if you guys own any of the fragrances that I mentioned here today, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. You don't have to love them, but if you do love them, you can let us know that too. And do you have any on your wish list from the House of Siage? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that now and follow me over on Instagram. Over there, I typically share a lot of sneak peeks of new fragrances that I've gotten or just other little things that I pick up here and there. <laughs> so definitely check me out over there if you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.